the cadets don't, when they get here, they don't know how they're supposed to look, you know. Yeah. So that's everybody's job at depot to let them know that, oh, just pop into the tailor shop, we can fix that for you. This year we have 32 troops of 32 members, so whatever that adds up to. 1,024, is it? Cadets will be on base and we outfit them with two pair of fatigues. Those are, they actually come from stores in that first kit issue. Mm -hmm. And then second kit issue is four pairs of blues and a pair of breeches. And Leathercraft looks after their boots. And third kit issue, we give them the ceremonial outfit, which is the red tunic and they're called banana pants or overalls. So they're, they're high-waisted and they have the stripe and that's what they wear to mm, reg dinners, probably mostly graduation dinners, things like that. That's where they wear that. You'll, mostly you see the red surge in the boots and breeches mm. when they're on parades. They have such a high standard here. They, yes, they, they absolutely do. And proud of the work they do because they know that this is Canada's yeah, icon on the world. This one style of jacket has to fit everybody. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, well, this one doesn't fit. Oh, I'll take that one that has, you know, princess seaming in it or something. You can't do that. This one has to fit. For me, it's an honor. It really is. Like, I love working with those cadets. They're, they're awesome. They're what you like, because to stand up here and, so where are you from, you know, and, and they start talking. We're, it's almost like we're their kind of their aunts or their grandmothers, you know. <laughs> home away from home where they can come and unload. Yeah, what we do is a small part of what, yeah, we can keep them safe, we can have them dressed properly, yeah. It's an all leather boot manufactured by the Alberta Boot Company out of Calgary. And they've been manufacturing them now, I think for probably 16, 15, 16 years. It's not hard work if you know what you're doing. Just like I don't, I don't work on my transmission because I don't have the tools and I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. People ask, was well, it hard to make the boot smaller? N no, because I know what I'm doing and I have the tools. Uh, some people tell me that they're the most comfortable pair of footwear they own and other people just fight with them uh, all the time. Just, it, we, it'll rub them wrong in one place, we fix that, it'll rub them wrong in another place. It's like any footwear. If, if, if you don't break it improperly or, or if the leather breaks improperly and hits a it's a nerve in your foot the wrong way. And it's not like we haven't made a mistake on a pair. Uh, a knife can slip. Um, and if, if we make a mistake, we, we say sorry, we apologize, never happen again, and we go get a new pair, and then we have to do the same thing. 